Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When Oregon and Oregon State get together, the rivalry runs deep. Occasionally, even the bad blood starts to bubble to the surface. The Civil War about to go in the state of Oregon. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. For these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's under some heat. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Here comes the pressure. Passes back across his body, but nobody there. Williams is looking to get in the record books in this one. He's a very special player, and he really deserves all the praise and awards he could get. Big game for this guy. From their own 28-yard line, third down. He wants it all. He's tackled at the 38. And he hauls it in deep downfield. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Makes his way out to about the 15. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Setting up play action. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down at the nine. Quinn picks him up six yards with a catch. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Toss left side. He makes it to the six yard line. Third down. 
And this is the eighth play of the drive. positive yardage the defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive right now they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in but they have to finish the job and the plays start to add up so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there touchdown osu And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Van from the six. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 33-yard line. The Ducks know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much, we could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Gets to about the 41-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. At about the 45. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Going deep, lays it out there. Can't haul it in. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception. So he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Oregon State's coaching staff, Kirk, I thought did a nice job getting them ready to play in this play. Yeah, and you and I have seen this sometimes when we travel. It's, it's where you see the crowd noise. Uh, throughout the practice week and how much that prepares them. I think the fact they did that to get ready has allowed them to go out there and execute and not be intimidated at all by this crowd. Oregon State up seven points. He makes his way to about the 42. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide. They bring him down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, 
You really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it 39. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Beavers lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Tackle made at the 46. From the 46 yard line, first down, Oregon State is up a score. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at the 44 yard line. That makes it second and eight. the stop at about the 43 yard line so we're looking at another third down here tackle around the 41 yard line Thomas gains about two yards on the run This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. Touchback. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackles him hard at the 19. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 19. Screenplay. They'll bring him down at the 25. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Lamb is the punter. Thomas fields at the 44. He's tackled at the 47. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oregon State is up by a touchdown. Quick strike, and he drops it. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 47. Got his man. Can't 
tack on any yardage. That makes it third and three. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Hughes got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here. It's a short kick. Oregon's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. So the sack makes this a second and long. Dumps it complete over the middle. Brought down at the 17. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Makes it to the 31. bring him down in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Let's go! He's on the run. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. Gets it out to the halfback. Oregon State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Only three yards there on the throw. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon State is up seven. And he's going to come up with a sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it. We played a half of football here. The Beavers with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. 
whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen just about time to get you back out for the second half brad and kirk will be along in just a second you're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here got a good a lot of good games going we're locked and loaded we got all the big screens going you're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later we yeah. loaded man i'll try you think you can keep on your shoes in the second half i'll try to they stinky <laughs> yes brad and kirk you're at a safe distance take it away Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Beavers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. He's got the corner. He's at the 40. And he's tackled at the 32. down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. Got a receiver and he dropped it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Watch the run. They're running it. Let's go. He's taken down at the 20. Fights forward to about the 19. well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Touchdown, Ducks! It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He's 
He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Gets out to around the 38. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping. Offense. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 28th. His receiver dropped it incomplete these guys especially in the secondary really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball sets up a screen tailback's got it knocked out of bounds around the 37 yard line that brings us fourth and three Van will be the return man. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he's tackled at the 41. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. counter and he is drilled at the 49 here he goes he's at the 30 and down he goes at the 27. his way to about the 18. the uprights with the extra point a five play 58 yard drive and they get it in for seven boy this offense right now is just being physical really controlling the line of scrimmage and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back Brian ready to kick Thomas takes it at the eight he makes it to the 32 yard line This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Sanchez off the left side. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched.
Play fake. Got it. Complete. And he's out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 46. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Williams comes away with around five yards on that option keeper. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, look, 48. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. Oregon leads 14-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Hey, watch number 33. Watch number 33. Hey, look for that. Red 18. Red. Red. Tackle around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 38-yard line, first down. On the handoff, big hit, and he'll lose yardage. That makes it second and ten. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 27. Three down, three down. Hey, look, 48. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Taken down right around the 18 yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And some daylight. He makes his way out to about the nine. Makes it first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Anderson is lined up to kick this one off. Taken from the 10. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a play or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board could be the difference in the game. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Less than three minutes in the game. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Here we go! And 
and they'll get him in the backfield. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. With the tackle at the 34-yard line. That'll bring up Oregon State's going to take their first time out of the half. Lamb is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 35. Return for gaining nine yards. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Now he tries to buy some time, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. with room to work. He goes out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That makes it 37. Third down and seven. Ball on the 37-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The Ducks taking their first time out of the half. Hughes to punt. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Stopped immediately. And he's hit immediately. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at about the 41. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds around the 27-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 27-yard line, first down. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Takes the interception. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. Let's go. Let's go. Last one, baby. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Hey, 148. Under a minute left in the game. He steps out right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's tackled around the 41 yard line. Ready! 
Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. They go back to him on a quick throw. And he's immediately tackled. Oregon State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's going to air it long. He's in. Touchdown, OSU.
They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Offense.
He makes the PAT. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Oh, man, did he take a hit. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. Oregon will take their second time out of the half. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Almost intercepted there. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Check three, check three. For all of you watching, it's been a great game and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. Once and all, going deep. Catches it, and he scores. Touchdown. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Well, if ever there was a big extra point to be had, then this is it. To go to overtime. And they're going to take a timeout here and let him think about it. And this is the biggest extra point that this young man will ever have to kick in his life. This for overtime. We're going to OT. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Gets about a yard there on the draw. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. A little toss across the middle. Tackle at the 14. That's a deep ten on the ball. First down. Quickly, it's almost intercepted. Sanchez was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 14 yard line, second down. Okay. 
And he just gets rid of it. Down of bounds around the two yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. A short yardage defense here. They'll bring him down at about the three yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a gain of four on the That makes it second and six. it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes around the 18-yard line. That makes it third. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Nice run there. That makes it first and ten. They're about four yards away here on second down. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. All day. Here we go. Touchdown, Oregon. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. The tension is going to rise a little bit more now. We'll see which team can overcome the pressure. From the 25-yard line, first down. Caught out in the open. Brought down at about the 17 yard line. That makes it second and two. And he's stopped behind the line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Ready. He's taken down at the five-yard line. A four-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go.
from the nine yard line. It's second down. Ready. Touchdown, Ducks. So they draw first blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. He splits the uprights with the extra point. down 10 yards to go ball on the 25 and he's tackled around the 17 yard line that makes it second and two Give to the tailback. Tackled for a loss. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle made the 14-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. Remove this. Hey, look, 48. Let's go. Touchdown, Oregon State. Can you believe this? It appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. And if you haven't had enough yet, we're going to a third overtime. Extra points are no longer allowed. And if anyone scores a touchdown, they'll have to go for two. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. need to get it to the 15. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Inside the 10. And a huge touchdown play. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Oregon State with a six-point lead. And it's caught for two.
from the 25 yard line. First down. You ain't doing nothing today. Ready? You ain't doing nothing today. Ready? Wants to throw outside. Third down and 12. Ball on the 27-yard line. Got a man tackled for a loss. Johnson sees the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it fourth and long. So they'll get one last stab at tying this up. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, Oregon State 43, Oregon 35. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival when today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime. This broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.